Hi, my name is Dr. John Heyer, and I'm a holistic chiropractor in Frankfurt, Illinois. Are you one of the 65 million Americans who suffer from low back pain due to disc problems, whether it's a disc bulge, disc protrusion, or disc herniation? Maybe you've been through therapy, or maybe you've even seen a chiropractor and you're maybe just not happy with the results that you've been getting. Or worse, maybe you haven't tried anything because you don't think that there's any hope for you. I'd like to share with you an excellent method that you may not have heard about that has helped resolve thousands of people's low back pain, specifically because of disc issues. But let's look at the problem. Discs act like a spacer in between the vertebrae and the spine. They kind of act like a cushion, if you will, like a shock absorber. And they're made up of two parts. There's an outer ring, which is kind of tough. It's like the tire. And there's a softer gel type on the inside. It's kind of like toothpaste consistency. And what can happen is either due to an injury or repetitive stress or for whatever reason, the ring can break and the contents, the toothpaste, can start to leak out from the inside. Kind of like if you've ever bitten into a jelly donut and the jelly squirts out the back, well that can happen to the disc. Not only can that cause pain and ache and inflammation of its own, but if that protrusion or bulge presses up on a nerve root, you may be experiencing things like numbness, tingling, or even pain radiating down one or both of your legs. But here's part of the problem. Discs do not heal well and they don't heal easily. And the reason is, unlike bones, which have a very good blood supply and get good nutrients if they're broken, when discs are injured, they don't have a good blood supply. So they don't heal very well and they don't heal very quickly. And unlike a bone, which in many cases, if broken, can heal better and faster than a disc, an arm or leg we can immobilize or prop up and rest. Unfortunately, with a disc, we can't do that because there's always constant pressure and that slows down the healing process well. So here's what we can do about it. We use a technique called flexion distraction to help disc problems with our patients. And if we pretend that this is a spine, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch and bend, stretch and bend, and open up the spaces in between the joints. And it looks a little something like this, just simply touching and holding the spine and stretching as we bend the patient in a flexed position. And think of an accordion. If you've ever seen someone play an accordion, we're opening up the accordion or we're opening up the spine, which helps to relieve the pressure on the disc and ultimately helps to relieve the pressure on any nerve roots that may be impinged. Now, it also helps to improve imbibition. And you're probably wondering, well, what is that? Remember how we said that discs don't have a good blood supply? They're kind of like, spon they're kind of like um, sponges. They require squeezing and unsqueezing to get fluids in and to get flushed fluids out. Well, imbibition is that motion or that fluid exchange to bring good nutrition in so the disc can heal and flush out any waste metabolites that might be causing inflammation or damage. Now, this technique by itself is excellent. Flexion distraction can help relieve a lot of people's back pain and get them back to their normal life. But there are times when you use it coupled with other therapies. Example, physical therapy or muscle stim or ultrasound and even exercise rehab protocols. And my ace up my sleeve is when we use this technique along with acupuncture. Using those two together has helped many, many people avoid undergoing dangerous surgery and it might even possibly help you as well. I just want you to know that there is hope for your condition and we may be able to help. And we'd love to have you give us a call to schedule an evaluation and a consultation and see if we can help you get back to your life. Thanks. Make it a great day.